manufacturing, ICT, oil and gas, tourism and services. Your Excellency, this Presidential Investor Conference has today continued to discuss and find solutions to the challenges facing the doing business space in Uganda and the region. Your Excellency, the government has undertaken significant reforms to streamline processes and reduce bureaucratic hurdles. Our goal is to make it easier for investors to set up and operate their businesses in Uganda. And we have been talking about this the whole morning. The Uganda Investment Authority one-stop center is a testament to this commitment. It serves as a single point of contact for all investor-related approvals, cutting through red tape and ensuring a swift and efficient process for investors. The one-stop center is designed to facilitate a seamless experience for investors providing a range of services under one roof. Whether it is a company registration, tax permits, environmental impact assessments, or work permits, our dedicated team at the One Stop Center is here to assist you to at every step. And this has been also well elaborated this morning. This approach not only saves valuable time, but also reduces the cost of doing business, making Uganda an attractive destination for your investments. In addition to the one-stop center, we have implemented a series of reforms to improve the overall business climate. We have simplified tax procedures, enhanced infrastructure, especially electricity, and invested in human capital development. Our commitment to good governance, transparency, and the rule of law ensures a stable and a productive business environment Invite, sorry, our commitment to good governance, transparency, and the rule of law ensures a stable and predictable business environment. Moreover, I want to acknowledge the valuable feedback we received from the investors during the Presidential Investor Conference. Your insights and the concerns are instrumental in shaping our policies and strategies. I will assure you that we have taken your input seriously and we are working to, de to, de to diligently to uh, express the issues raised. Now, Your Excellency, you know this morning there was a young lady here by the name of Tumsime. She showed many questions to me as a Minister of Finance. Very many. Unfortunately, I could not write to them all. Let me this opportunity, Madam Tumusimi, I would like you to write down all those questions you have shown to me <laughs> in writing. Mm. So that it is on record and I will reply to you in writing. <laughs> But I appreciate, I appreciate absolutely. You have done a very wonderful job. But to be, par to be perfect and, uh, and thorough, we need to have things in writing. Agreed? Thank you. <laughs> Furthermore, Uganda's strate strate strategic location at the crossroads of East and Central Africa position, it is a gateway to a market of over five, five million people, 500 million people. With the entry of Somalia, a growing middle class and increasing consumer de demand, the opportunities to, to profitable investments are very fast, very vast. Your Excellency, because of your efforts, it is us keep coming in. Uganda has, in this and the past year, won the following awards. One, award for the best investment catalyst in the world. Go Global Awards in Rhode Island, USA 2023. As the Mara, we are doing very well for sure. Th 
third most rewarding two third most rewarding economy to invest in Africa the most attractive economy to invest in in, in East Africa and this is from Oxford Economics 2023 three best investment destination in East Africa annual investment meeting awards Abu Dhabi in, in Abu Dhabi in 2023 five, four, five best tourist destination in the world and Mr. President this young girl sorry that lady this morning was saying that actually our tourists is the attractions we know of course you and me we all we know but the world is beginning now to appreciate that Uganda is the best to go if you want to do tourism six Top 10 in industrial development. This is African Development Bank, African Industrialization Index. Seven, number one regional leader in capital markets growth. This, is that, this has been given to us by ABS Africa, Financial Markets Index 2022. Lastly, number one, happiest country in the East African region let me repeat number one happiest country in the East African region and they gave us a happiness a happiest index score 20, uh, 20, 20, 22 in conclusion I extend again my invitation to all investors to, to explore the vast potential that Uganda offers the government, alongside the Uganda Investment Authority, is committed to providing the necessary support and creating an enabling envir environment for your businesses to thrive. Together, let us embark on a journey of shared prosperity, mutual growth, and a brighter future for Uganda. Mr. President, Again, as we were talking this morning, something came which I would like you to comment about. The issue of, corrupt, of corrupted officers, the issue of corrupted officials. Somebody came and whispered to me just before you came and said, Minister, if we hadn't at assessment by Uganda Revenue Authority, in order for them to do what the, the customer wants, you have to do, look for something, what we call key to key dog. Equally, if you want a power connection, again, if you don't do that, you may take one year before you get a connection. Mr. President, this thing has been hurting me. I don't sleep. I am looking for money. I am abused by colleagues that I'm not giving them money. When I give money, people do not use it for the purpose for which it has been given. We shall discuss later on, even in private meetings. But the question of corruption, Mr. President, is getting the nerves of some of us. It is really very terrible. We really must quit. We must crack. We must track. Those fellows who are doing those things, they should not be in our government. They shouldn't be in our government at all. You are a clean man, I'm a clean man, others also clean men and women. We work so hard. We worked hard to bring this country to where it is now. And people want to derail us. 
to take our to, to take our country into wars unnecessarily you know i can quarrel badly mr president so you excuse me when i get annoyed i get annoyed now it is my pleasure sir to ask you to address the gathering thank you Honorable Ministers, uh, 